Hi everyone, I'm outside on this beautiful day and I'm hoping it's not going to rain. It's patches of grey and blue and white clouds up there so God willing it won't rain while I'm making this video for you. So this is a video that about questions that I've been asked since the day I started head wrapping and it's all about headaches and tightness and migraines and pulling and all those things that some people seem to have happened when they start wrapping their hair. Usually for these people they have this happening to them before they start wrapping their hair but the wrapping doesn't make it any better. So I'm going to share with you a bit of my personal story which will tell you a bit about why I'm making this video. When I was a teenager and actually still right now I got chronic migraines and when I mean chronic I mean that it was every day I could not see out of one eye. It was I had terrible auras. The pain was insane. I had to go to pain management therapy to just be able to cope so I could get through school. It was really bad. Um, so that was my, when I was a teenager, thank God it's much better now. I started taking vitamin B2 and that actually cured everything. I was, I went on lots of medications, but that's actually what helped. So I know all about migraines and I know what they can do. I know that when you have one, you just want to, you can't do anything and you can't function. So head wrapping and headaches. It's actually a funny story that um, since I started wrapping my hair, I actually got less migraines. So when people started talking to me about getting more migraines from wrapping their hair, I was like, why is that? And what do I do that's different? So first of all, the biggest problem that happens to most ladies is that they're wrapping their scarf too tight, too tight all around. First of all, a woman might be tying her hair back too tight, which is really not good. You do not want to pull your hair back and tie it in a tight elastic. The reason why we sell the velvet scrunchies is not only to protect from hair loss, but also to help with headaches and pulling and tiredness and all those things that happen from pulling your hair back too tight. So do not pull your hair back too tight. Second of all, you do not want to have your velvet headband too tight on your head. Your no slip headband needs to be snug but not tight. Now many people ask, well how do I know what size I am? How do I know my measurement? And that's actually a difficult question because most people assume that if they have a large head then there'll be a large size and vice versa. This is not true. I have a high hairline so that, mean, that meaning that my forehead is pretty big. So therefore I wear a smaller size because the actual circumference of my hair doesn't take up very much room. However, if I had a lower hairline, I would wear a larger size. Same as those women that expose a bit of hair would also want a headband that, um, that is a bit smaller. And depending on actually how low your hair comes down here, that also changes things. So the best thing to do is measure your head with a shoestring or something like that and hold that against the measuring tape. The measurements that we give on Rapunzel.com are when the headband is laid down flat. Now the headbands are stretchy, so someone might say, well I have a 23 inch head, how is a 22 inch headband going to work for me? And it actually really does because most of them I to fit comfortably would stretch about an inch. However, what's comfortable to me is not what might be comfortable for someone else. Some women's like it's, women like a tighter fit and some women like a looser fit. But personally, I, like, I just like it to be snug. So you're better off going in the middle. And so yes, headband, make sure it's the right size. And last of all is your wrap. Now we're gonna talk about lots of wrapping techniques and what, you know, how to avoid headaches, but the most basic one is don't wrap your head wrap too tight. If you have the velvet headband on, you really do not need to wrap your headband very tight. Your, sorry, your scarf very tight. So just put it on, get it so it gets a nice line at the front. You don't want any weird fabric sticking out, but then do not tie it any tighter. You don't need to. Okay, so that's too tight. The second problem that comes up is pulling. And I'm going to go on a little bit about pulling because this is an interesting thing. There have been some pictures I've posted where I have a lot of volume going on at the back and people are like, well, isn't that heavy? How do you wear that without it pulling at your head? So I'm going to talk about something and those of you that have not wrapped before might not know what I'm talking about, but those that do wrap, just listen up. It's all about momentum. And as Viv Kamaka actually says, it's all about hand angle. So if you are wrapping your scarf and you are pulling back and your hands are facing down here all the time, pulling, 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 then your wrap will feel fine at the beginning and then after about an hour, oh my gosh, it's starting to rain. Okay, we're finishing this. After about an hour, it will start pulling down really harshly and you really don't want that to happen. So when you are wrapping, 
you want your hands to be very often facing up and you want to be thinking this way, forward momentum. So when I'm doing my crisscross and doing all this stuff, even if I'm working back here, I'm thinking this way. The idea is you want your head wrap to hug your head. You actually want, and this is why actually wrapping my hair gives me less migraines, my hair before weighed quite a lot. And now that it's all wrapped up and kind of hugging my head, it actually takes a lot of weight off my head. So you want to think this way, think forward momentum, wrap this way, wrap in this direction, no pulling down. Do not pull down this way, you will get really bad headaches, even if you're not a migraine sufferer, you will get bad headaches, don't do that. Okay, another thing that may, might cause headaches or tightness is how you tie your knots. If you are tying, I, you can see I have a double knot here, but it's actually quite loose. If I were to tie this really tight, I would find that I get a pressure headache right here after a little bit. So when you're tying your knots, make them nice, don't, you know, don't tie them too loose, but don't tie them so tight that they kind of stick and, you know, and really hurt your head. Also, for some of you, you might actually want to try it, and I've done this in a lot of my wraps, is that you do, instead of tying a knot at the back, you just do a crisscross. If you want information on how to do this, there's um, the crazy wrap with lots of braids and the regal wrap, all these wrapping tutorials show you how to do this. So just do a crisscross at the back, finish your wrap, don't do a gazillion knots at the back of your head. Okay. So another thing is how you tuck your scarves. As you know, we, are, we often tuck our scarves in here or underneath here. You know, you can tuck it in here, here. If you bunch your scarf up and kind of stick it in, it's not going to go very well. It's actually going to create that same pressure headache that the knot would create. You want it to be nice and smooth. You want to put your scarf in like this. Nice and smooth and like nice and smooth. You don't want to bunch it up because again, that's going to create pressure against one part of your head and it's going to give you a headache. So the last thing I want to talk about is weight. Now, as you know, pashminas weigh more than light two-in-one summer scarves. So obviously you do not want to pile on two or three pashminas on your head if you get headaches because that's going to weigh quite a bit. So a lot about weight is actually where your ponytail is and that depends from person to person. I've heard a lot of people say that when they have a low bun, that actually is much better for headaches. For me personally, having it kind of in a medium high place, like where I wear it right here, is the best place for that comfortable hugging my head feeling. For other women on top, it's gonna to feel much better. So everyone has different shaped heads and different places where pressure feels different. So experiment with that. Um, so you wanna, we really just always wanna think when you're wrapping about the tichel hugging your head and not pulling it. That's basically if I could say one thing in this video, Think hugging, not pulling. Think embracing, not weighing down. And I think actually because it's starting to rain and I really do not want my computer to get destroyed, I'm gonna finish off this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Many of you have asked about some wrap, especially the crazy braid wrap that I posted and say like, well, doesn't it give you a headache? Doesn't it, isn't it heavy? And first of all, the answer is no. It, um, it was a bit more cumbersome in terms of my head movement than most of my wraps, obviously, because it was huge. But because I was thinking forward motion and because those two-in-one scarves were so light, I did not get a headache and I wore it all day and it felt great and it felt fine. So I hope this helps all of you and I hope we all have a headache-free existence and are happy and wrapping and beautiful and loving life. Bye everyone, enjoy the weather, enjoy the rain. I'm gonna run inside, bye bye.